Hello, Libras. Let's see what my Libras need to know for the month of the mid reading of May. What is your mid May reading needing to know? happiness, completion, fulfillment. Um, this could be within a relationship, but it is really about that fulfillment and happiness within. Then you have this card. This represents a new beginning. This is going on a new journey. Sometimes we think about doing things and we don't do them. We don't really do them. We just think about it. Well, it is time to do it. Whatever it is that you've been procrastinating about, it is time to get it done. Go on that new journey. Then you have this card. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This represents good health, good wealth, and happy home life. So this is about stability. This is about money. It is about feeling very stable in life. And then your next card would be this. This is about doing that spiritual healing, connecting to that spiritual side of you, um, and healing. Then you have this. This represents... Um, this is about looking at a situation um, in a different way. Sometimes we kind of get goggles on or our rose-colored glasses, and it's time to look at things in a different way, okay? So step back and look at things from another direction. Then you have this card. This is about being proud of all the things that you have done and all the things that you have accomplished in life, but it also could be stability that will be presented to you. But be proud of the things you've accomplished, okay? And then you have this card. This represents that knowledge, that spirituality. This is about connecting to the other side. It also is about intuition. So at this time, it's about manifesting whatever you put into the universe is coming back to you. So whatever you are needing or wanting, you got to speak it, put it into the universe, believe it, and bring it in, okay? Then you have this. This could be a raise at work. It could be going to the next level at something, but it is diplomacy, maybe getting a reward for something, but being noticed for the things that you have done, okay? Okay. Then we have this. This is about mending a relationship between you and someone else. And I do feel like it is a mill. Um, this is about uh, new beginnings, new beginnings in your life, um, new start. But I feel like it will be with this mill. This is somebody that you feel secure around, stability. They might have money. But it is a person that you look up to. And this person really is a really laid-back, chill person. They might think in a little bit of a different way, but I feel like you will have a new beginning with them. Now, the main reading um, energy for this reading is about looking at things from a different perspective. At times, we got to take our time to look at things in a different way, okay? So, um, that is your general reading. Now, let's see what we need to know for your love, okay? Love. What does my... My Libra needs to know for love for the mid May. All right. So, first off, I want to say that some of you might be having people coming back from your past, okay? Um, so, somebody from your past is going to come back for some of you. Um, and it will be a good beginning, okay? Things changing. All right, so wow, okay, my Libras, you guys are feeling a bit uh, tied down, huh? Okay, so Alright, 
So, Libra and love. So, with the, with this rest of the month, there's not too much left. But this is about new feelings. Somebody's going to express their feelings to you, okay? This would be good feelings, not bad feelings. But they're going to express their love, their feelings. And then you have this, you're tired of the same stuff. You're wanting a change. And this is about making that change, presenting yourself to something different in your life, okay? And then you have this card. This is a re representation of doing some shadow work, looking within yourself, finding those things that really um, need to change in your life, doing some shadow work, seeing what is it. Um, you're always trying to balance things out. My Libras are always just trying to balance things out. It's about balance in life. And I feel like at this time you're doing a lot of shadow work, looking within, finding those things that you need to change. But also you have this. This is about doing some betrayal, uh, not doing betrayal, but doing some healing from feeling betrayed from someone that you may have been in a relationship from your past. Why I say that is because that card kept on falling out, but I put it back in both times. Now, this is also about, um, this one's about strength, knowing your self-worth. Um, in Libra, this is your main card that is uh, around your love life and energy around you. This is about knowing your self-worth, knowing how to love yourself, but knowing your strength within. Give yourself credit. Give yourself love. Know what you're worth. You are worth something, okay? Be proud of who you are. And then you have this card. This is about recognition. Somebody might be recognizing you, okay? This is a success card as well. So maybe someone will be successfully um, recognizing you at this time. But maybe it'll come with this strength, this um, knowing that you, knowing your self-worth, okay? And then you have, this is about having control over a certain situation. Sometimes it can be that we don't know that we have control over something. We kind of find uh, ourselves wanting things to change, but we don't put energy towards that. And at this time, it is about that control, okay? You have control of it, okay? Then you have this. This is about other people around you. Maybe you might be finding yourself around new people, or maybe this is about the people that you are around. But it is about learning a lesson as well. Maybe somebody, um, maybe others around you are teaching you something or you're finding out something from them. And then you have this card. This card represents harvesting the fruits of your labor. So whatever you've been working really hard for and putting your energy towards, um, towards maybe a relationship or maybe being noticed by somebody, it is going to be seen. You're going to be seen by this person. Now, let's go downwards. We have this card. This is about that new feeling, that new love coming to you. Then you have this. This is about somebody bringing you new feelings. That you're trying to do some healing from um, somebody from your past that has betrayed you. But you're doing that healing, okay? And then you have this. You have control, all control of this. Don't feel like um, your whatever this is that you're trying to work through. Don't feel like that confines you into the person that you are, okay? If somebody has feelings for you, um, you know it's okay to uh, to accept them. Um, and listen to them, but know your self-worth, okay? Know how to um, accept yourself the way you are. Don't let anybody else ever tell you any different. You are who you are, and be proud of that, okay? Now, we have this card. It is about making a change, trying to change things. It's like you're tired of things, wanting a change. This is that self-worth, loving yourself, knowing your self-worth, okay? That strength within. And then this is about the people around you. And maybe this could be representing that the people that you are around is something that you're thinking about changing as these people. Maybe there is something that you are going to be changing about the people that you hang around or that you are around, okay? And then you have this card. This is about doing that inside soul searching, looking within. And this is about being successful, recognition. And this is the hard work that it comes out from that soul searching, okay? So looking within is very important at this time, but you will receive success at this time as well. So with this with this shadow work, it's going to bring some great um, harvest, okay? It's going to bring a great harvest into your life. In other words, the energy that you've been putting towards um, looking within and finding those things that you need to change, I feel like you're going to have a bright idea and it's going to bring you to success, okay? And um, so that is your reading, you guys, for the month, the mid-month of May. All right, I hope to see you guys next time, and deuces.